Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Expedition League 3.15. In this episode, I'm going to be going over how to upgrade from my Step 1 Stone Golem budget build to the Step 2 Stone Golem build. Okay, here we go. From Step 1 uh, to Step 2, I have a PowerPoint presentation along with I'm going to go through the actual in-game stuff. Uh, so let's just go through what I've actually done, and then I have the actual order of... Uh, what, how to do it, what to do, all the upgrades, I have the PowerPoint, I'll try to make this as quick as possible for you guys. And so, first off, um, here's my budget build. What I first did was, um, we, we had, to, to recap step one, I added the unset rings, I recapped my reses a little bit better with different items, I upgraded my items across the board, and then I went unset ring so I could fit a cast on, cast on death portal, and I also went, um, I got endurance charges on, on my rings and my ammy. The endurance charges come from June unveiling, unveiling jewelry, uh, rings, and amulets, suffix. It's a suffix mod for the, uh, extra endurance charge. Okay, so that was step one. Now we're on to step two. So where did I start with step two? Um, we found that Awakened Gems were like 1x or 2x per. They seem very cheap this season because I guess they got nerfed heavily. And so people aren't going for them as hard as they used to. So uh, Awakened Minion Damage, uh, Awakened Brutality, Awakened Melee Fizz, um, Awakened Generosity, and then Awakened Multi-Strike. Those are the five. Um, then I also upgraded to a 21 Animate Guardian. Uh, I took out um, the Enfeeble for Frostwall, and I also run an Amulet with plus two, uh, so plus one Physical Skill Gems and plus one Strength Skill Gems. Now you're like, yo, that's a lot of shit. What order do I get them all in? What's the best one to do first? What's the upgrade path? Yo, how do we do this? Um, so also throughout this, around the time when I was doing the Awakened Minion Gems, is when I upgraded my flask to the automation, because uh, if you think about it, if a Waken gem is like one or two x, these fl these flasks to automate them was about one x with the instilling orbs. So I highly recommend automating your flask pretty early into the upgrading. So between step one and step two, upgrade these flasks probably early within the Waken gem section. But now I'll get into my uh, PowerPoint presentation where I have broken it all down and it's a lot more easier. It's a lot easier to uh, follow and uh, I'm really proud of this. Okay, here we go. Let's show it off. All right, wait, hold up. Okay, upgrading the stone golem build from step one to step two. Step one was upgrading resistance, adding two unset rings and three endurance charges. Step two. Upgraded to Awaken Gems. Which one do you upgrade first, Ethan? Upgrade cheapest first. So this is just the current list of the current prices. And what I would do looking at it right now. But they may be different from the time you watch this video. Because you might watch this right away. The prices would be similar. You might watch this a day later. The prices might change because of this video. And then maybe like a week later, this video doesn't impact the prices as much. So maybe other things are different. So anyways... Um, it would start with Awaken Melee Fizz at 1.2x, then Awaken Minion Damage 1.6x, Awaken Brutality 2x, Awaken Generosity 2x, and Awaken Multi is 14. Yesterday, I'll warn you guys, this gem went from 13x to 33x overnight. They price fixed it, and now it's already back down to 14x after one day. Um, so this is proof that it was price fixed, and it was pretty disgusting, so be careful, and these were the current prices before price fixing, so be careful. That's all I gotta say. May maybe if you see this shit at 33x, wait, because it might be bullshit. Um, but this is the order I recommend the Awakened Gems, and I found that upgrading all of them to level 5 by leveling them up, which, by the way, mine are still not level 5. I have a level 2, level 2, level 2, level 2. They take a while to level, but when you level them up to 5, it'll be like a 17% more damage buff, which is pretty big for when we're losing a lot of damage. Free damage, because this is just replacing your current gem, like Generosity, Brutality, Minion Damage, Melee. This is instead of the normal one, you get the Cool Awakened, and it's better. Um, so I added an Animate Guardian, like I mentioned. So I moved the Mim into my six link stone golems instead of ruthless from my specter link i took the mame out um mame was on my specters 
Put a 21-0 Animate Guardian into my helmet. I highly recommend the 21-0 Animate Guardian for more life. Uh, so he survives because you don't want to lose the gear that you put on him. So the helmet link is 21 Spectre, 1 Life Tap, 21-0 and Animate Guardian, and 20-20 Feeding Frenzy support in a helmet that socketed gems are supported by level 20 minion life. So it's a 5 link. Uh, stone Golems. Six link was Stone Golem, 21, Awaken Minion Damage, Awaken Melee Fizz, Awaken Brutality, Awaken Multi, and then Mame. Mame instead of Ruthless. That's my point here. Um, to how I fit the Animate Guardian in and where I put it. I put it in the helmet so he's safe. Gear on the Animate Guardian. Weapon, Kingmaker. Crit, Multi, Culling, Strike, Pog. Fortify. Nearby nearby allies are, have Fortify. Um, glove, the Embalmer Carnal Mitts. It's a high Chaos Res. Um, life, glove with corrupted with vulnerability you don't have to get this unique glove it's just the point that high chaos res glove and life um and corrupted with vulnerability it usually turns out to be this one because it's exactly what you need and people don't use it and so it's basically for the animate guardian especially corrupted with vulnerability um this is the main thing you're automating your curse with the animate guardian move speed boots with life and resistance um, this is very important. Uh, it'll be explained in the second part. Body armor, life, so rare body armor, life, resistance, nearby enemies are blinded is a redeemer mod. And so you want to get as much life and resistance as possible next to this nearby enemies are blinded. This is the one you really want though. This is the one mod you're really going for. And helmet, nearby enemies take increased physical damage, 9%. Uh, that's the mod you're looking for. It's an item level 85 Elder Helmet, and then you can get extra life and resistances. Uh, you can craft on these, so suffix, 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 to craft more resistance. You can craft a hybrid craft. Um, I'll show you here. On my belt, Fire and Chaos. There's Cold and Chaos, and there's Lightning and Chaos. I highly recommend those for capping the Chaos of the Animate Guardian and helping with the resistance. But anyways, uh, for the... Animate Guardian in our build, you want 35 elemental resistance up to 70 for any build because some builds don't take the elemental resistance on the skill tree. For example, in Dom Army, Sacrifice, and Grave Intentions, uh, these two nodes that go up to it with the minion elemental res. Uh, so for our build, it's like 35 elemental res per piece, uh, like total, but you can go up to 70 and it's not it's not a big deal it's safer than if you take out some of these points and you have less elemental res from your tree you have it on your animate guardian for for sure uh you don't have to worry about you accidentally killing him and then 17 to 55 chaos so 17 for our build because of how much chaos we have in the build but you can go up to 55 for normal builds that don't take all this elemental and chaos resistance on the skill tree um and then on the pieces of gear you want as much life as possible for the boot, glove, helmet, body armor to usually be armor bases for some flat armor for the Animate Guardian. It helps against physical. Uh, it's very nice. Okay. Remove Enfeeble from the Castle Damage Taken setup when you add the Animate Guardian. Because when you add the Animate Guardian with Vulnerability, you no longer use Enfeeble because you can only have one curse and it's shared with the Animate Guardian. So we replace Enfeeble with a level 10 Frostwall. Don't level the Frostwall past 10 to keep it at or below level 38 so you can automate it with a level 1 Castle Damage Taken. So this will be Castle Damage Taken, Frostwall level 10, and your level 3 Immortal Call. Uh, then I added the amulet, so it's a plus 2 amulet, plus 1 physical skill gems from a warlord amulet item level 82, plus 1 strength skill gems from a hunter amulet item level 82. No other influence mods when you're doing an awakener orb, because uh, it'll take a random one of the mods instead of the one you want. Uh, awakener orb them together, go for a dexterity amulet base like citron or jade ami. Uh, this citron is strength dex, and then you have jade dex. Um, you, you go for the strength because it's some extra life and you sometimes need strength in the build. Um, and then you destroy the first, adding it to the second. So the second base should be the Citrin Jade Amulet. So the first one doesn't have to be a Citrin or Jade. It can be some shit like Gold Ami. Um, and, it, and then it should probably be item level 84 or 85 instead of 82 for that real base, for the second base, so that you can roll better mods after the Awakener Orb. Because, for example, T1 Chaos Res requires a higher level, I believe, or it's T1 Elemental Res requires a higher item level than 82. I think Chaos might be 81, and then Elemental is 84. All Elemental Res is definitely like 84 or 85. Uh, that's the point. It's just to hit some extra good mods. T1. Hope for an open prefix for life or just hitting life. 
that would be one of the things you hope for. Hope for good suffixes and an open suffix to craft an endurance charge. If no su open suffix or open prefix, you can reforge the item, keeping prefixes from harvest crafting. If open prefix and no suffixes, sorry, that means no, oh yeah, no, yeah, so open prefix, meaning you could craft life, and no suffixes, as in you, you have all the suffixes open, let's say you removed them, just the two prefixes plus one, you can multi-mod life and endurance charge, with the final open suffix you could add a bestiary aspect, like aspect of the spider, or slam a mod with ashling four star veil from june, or just slam an exalted orb for the extra suffix. Thanks for watching the step 2 of upgrading the stone golem build. Step 3 is coming soon. I really enjoy doing these and uh, giving you guys the path and the route of how to upgrade the build. Uh, it makes it really clear and really obvious so people who are following the build even later can follow how we actually started the season. We went with the league starter skeletons we went into the stone golems with the budget build then we went into the step one upgrade with the cast on death and the extra uh endurance charges which felt amazing and then we end the unset rings and then we upgrade now to this massive upgrade but we, at least we uh we gave it in order in a way that people can follow like awaken gems then uh, ag and then the plus two emmy and uh, I tell them how to do it, what to change, all that stuff. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun to put together. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And now I'm going to take this opportunity to thank my what? my Patreon, my YouTube members who financially support the channel. I can't do this without you guys. So thank you guys for all the support. And thank you to anyone new who joins the Patreon, the YouTube members today. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!